Come on. Uh, WBCT have about three acres of woodland in this area between the canal up, up there and the river Avon behind me. Um, a lot of the wood has got these old hazels in. Now this particular hazel is probably about 70, 80 years old and it's starting to die. So it's coming towards the end of its natural life. What we're doing today or have been over the last three weeks is uh, actually cutting these down to the ground in something called coppicing. It actually extends the life of the, uh, the tree by rejuvenating it and it will send up new shoots. Um, over here you can see that we've coppiced three stools and then surrounded the, the uh, stools with brash to stop the deer. There's a uh, population of Munjak deer which would nibble off all the new shoots and we'd end up with very stunted trees. So we surround them with a thick fence, a natural fence from all the stuff that uh, we cut down and th that not only protects the trees but it also provides habitat. We've just put a nest box in uh, on the other side. We've also filled in some of the gaps because obviously there's quite a bit of um, space between these big trees because nothing has been allowed to grow underneath the canopy. One of the big advantages of coppicing is that it allows light onto the woodland floor and that allows uh, plants to grow, uh, seeds to germinate and then you've got a different flora um, which are beneficial for butterflies, all sorts of insects and uh, more trees, uh, little seedlings will start to develop because they're getting more light. So this um, is a hazel stool that Martin Palmer and I uh, cut back last winter. Um, you can see that uh, there were probably about seven or eight large branches which filled this whole area behind us. And um, so those seven or eight branches that we cut down, some of it we used to protect the, the stool from the uh, the deer braze, uh, grazing and you can see it's done a good job because there are now eight nine feet shoots coming up from the stall as it's regenerated it's now full of vigor instead of the dying rotting uh, hazel that it was before and when these keep growing they will create nest sites for birds and small mammals down in there. It's, it's probably about a hundred shoots in there, maybe, maybe a bit less, but it, the tree is rejuvenated and that is what um, we need to do with a lot of the, the trees along here, is to give, um, give them that boost by cutting them back to give them new life. And in doing so, you give more life and a better environment for the wood that uh, is along by the canal here. And if we've got a good environment on, the, on this part of the, uh, the canal for wildlife, it'll be good for the canal as well. It means that more animals and birds will, insects migrate through the wood because it's a healthy environment. And that, that's all part of our project, uh, Bee Root Project to improve the life of pollinators and insects in general and, and wildlife. Here is a, a small copse that was planted about 10 to 15 years ago, um, mostly hazel and some uh, oak trees. Last, uh, last year there was no grass, no uh, plants growing underneath because the canopy was so dense that uh, it was shading it out. Just by cutting them back, uh, coppicing the, the hazel, thinning out the, 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 uh, the oak trees, light has come in, plants are now on, on the floor of this little copse and we'll start to see flowers coming through for insects. And you can see that the uh, hazel stools are growing, they're eight or nine feet tall out of the 
smaller stalls than are in the, in the wood next door. But the same process. We'll come back here in eight or nine years when it's grown up and coppice it again. Use the use the uh, the wood for fencing and hedging along along the canal and make uh, make good use of it. Some of the um, material that we took out here, you can see we, um, a group called uh, SLR came on a corporate work day, day and built this fantastic dead hedge. It's already got um, it's already got wildlife in. I know that because I bought my little terrier and he walked along the top and was so interested in what's going in on in the um, in the dead. So animals are already taking up residence there. We've got a couple of uh, nest boxes on the other side. In addition to that, when this eventually rots down behind, we've got uh, a newly planted hedge. You can just see the hedge plants coming up there in um, coming up for their second season now, and that will create a natural thorny barrier so when this eventually rots and dies we can utilize that to boost the uh, the growing of, uh, of the hedge. Down on below Double Bridge which is up there uh, a little area that we've cleared of bramble and planted um, some hawthorn and some wild cherry to uh, build up the amount of trees. The, the, um, we're very lucky and very grateful for the money from the Aviva Fund, uh, all you people that contributed to it. This is the uh, start of the process to make Nash Hill, the six acre area here that um, we've uh, leased from Wiltshire Council, make it into a wildlife haven. We've got, uh, got that money and we've planted well over 50 trees, large trees so far and uh, we'll continue to do that creating little copses like this which uh, the trees have been specially selected are good for for insects by flowering and then later on with the fruit good for birds uh, especially in the winter so we've got hawthorn here which is um, in may will flower and be loved by bees and uh,